Hi, Yarna Bees. Okay, I gotta do this quick because the lady's gonna be coming to pick this up. So, remember I was telling you I got commissioned to do the kids' sweaters and the hat and the scarf, right? Well, I thought I'd show it to you because it's finished. Okay, so this is the three of the four year olds' um, sweater. Okay, back enough. And it's got the hood, a little hood with the tassels. And this is done with the Moody Mosaic that I was asking um, somebody to send me. Thank you, Chris. Um, so, yeah. And this is... What is it? I can't remember. I think it's a Michaels brand. Could be wrong. But, uh, yeah. So, and then I've got the little buttons that say... Uh, handmade with love. So... It's going to be a little bit big, I think, for a four-year-old, but it's okay because they'll grow into it, right? So that's cool. So that's done. And then I've got the seven-year-olds. Okay. And this has got the hood. And these little buttons. And this has got... The, not the buttonholes, it's got the, what do you call them? <laughs> These things. <laughs> so, yeah. So there's that one. And then George whipped up the scarf for me. So, it's a big long scarf. Now, I didn't put the pom-poms on the ends. I'm going to put them in the bag so that if they decide that they want to put the pom-poms on, they can. Um, only because I don't know if it's the mom or the dad that's going to be wearing the scarf. Uh, George made up the hat to go with. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, it's... Uh, reversible right so um, yeah so I got that done now for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about um, I had a customer come in a couple weeks ago and I can't remember if it's her friend or a family member the lady has um, stage 4 cancer and so this lady wanted to get something. She's got two young kids. She wanted to get something for the kids, like sweaters for the kids and a hat and a scarf for the parents that match the kids' sweaters um, so that they can get a family photo done. So no pressure. Um, so it took me a bit to get done, but I got them done finally. Uh, the the seven year old sweater <laughs> is a Simona crochets um, pattern. I'll leave that link down below. And the other the four year old sweater is a campfire cardigan. So yeah, so I didn't want to do both the sweaters the same because all kids are different, right? And I figured as long as I had the same colors in them, uh, but had them different then that would be okay, you know, because kids are different characters, right? And like, they, um, they have different styles. So I thought that that would be a lot better. So, yeah. So I'm just wait. I, I sent a message, um, and I'm just waiting for her to come and pick them up. And I'm hoping she's going to like them. So I will talk, talk later. Uh, okay, so... This just happened. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know, I was just showing you the the stuff. I had it out on my desk here because I was showing you guys. And a lady came up and asked me about them. And this lady's a regular here. She's a sweetheart. Um, 
told her the story uh, about who they're for. I don't know the, la the name of the lady that they're for. <sighs> this lady bought them for this lady as an anonymous don donor. I'm shook. I'm trying so hard not to cry. <laughs> so anyway, um, I have to call the lady that's coming to pick this up and tell her that an anonymous donor just paid for the rest of this. Um, I just... It, it really puts, um, puts my faith in humanity again. I just, wow. Okay, I'm going to go before I cry. <laughs> okay, I have another story to tell you guys too. So, later. <laughs> Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? I am, um... I'm balancing you precariously. <laughs> so hopefully this works. Um, I'm just getting, I just got ready for work. Uh, I'm going to be doing skip for a little while today. And uh, <clears throat> then I've got a big day ahead of me after I'm only going to do half a shift. And then I got to come home and I'm making uh, two tubs of lasagna for my sister. And then I'm going to be making um, garlic butter uh, and stuff like that. Um, I wanted to be making my own um, bird suet. And I got most of the stuff, but I don't have any of the beef tallow. <clears throat> so I have to try and go to a butcher or something and see if I can't find something that I can use. So, um, that's going to be put on the wayside for a little bit, <clears throat> not for very long. Um, but I just wanted to touch base with you and show you a couple things that I'm working on. Now that the, um, the sweaters are done <clears throat> and off to the new, um, owners, I, I have to tell you guys, um, the lady came in to pick up the sweaters and I told her about the anonymous donor that paid for the rest of her order. And she said, she stood in my shop and cried. Um, it was a really surreal moment for me. <clears throat> um, I just, just when you think that, you know, the whole world's gone to hell and nobody cares anymore and that you know people are so angry all the time and the energy of the world is just horrid right now uh something like this happens and it kind of renews your your um i don't know i don't know what i'm trying to say anyways it was it was an amazing moment <clears throat> and she was very grateful um, so yeah, so I was so happy to be able to help be part of that, help and help and be part of that, uh, for her. So yeah. Um, and then hmm, I, I kind of was like, okay, I'm done that. Now what? <laughs> I have like three other things I'm working on, but I just have no desire to do them. They were kind of fill-ins, and I just kind of went, mm, I'm, not, I'm not feeling it, you know. Um, so I made, I went back to old school, basically, and I made a, I, you know, I I'll always say this wrong, and I am so sorry, but I call it the Kari Keyhole Scarf. Um, it's not... Kari, it's something else that I can't pronounce. <laughs> um, 
but it's uh, a pattern by Ruby Baby. I will leave her link down below. I used I made these all the time when she first came out with the pattern. And I haven't made one in quite a while. So I thought, hey, I have um, this Loops and Threads <clears throat> Chenille Home Slim sitting beside me. So why not make a, a Christmas one? I've never, I haven't made one of those keyhole scarves in chenille before. So I thought I would give it a go. And it actually turned out really well. And then <laughs> I asked George to wash it for me and wash it without anything in there because I didn't want, if the red was going to run, I didn't want it to run on any clothes. So he did that. He did as I asked, but I didn't think about the fact that there was white on this scarf. So it is now pink. <laughs> oh, so yeah, so there it is. It's um yeah it's it's now pink but you know what i think it actually doesn't look too bad um so you take the corner you you accordion this right um i mean this is going to be a thick cowl um let's see if i can do this and then you put this oops I don't have any scissors right here you put this through all the holes I think it's gonna go this way and pull and that makes then you can pull these out like this and that makes the keyhole cowl it's it's really hard to to see what i'm talking about um right now because it's all messed up <laughs> and it's really big and bulky at the moment so but anyway <clears throat> um i put it on a a mannequin or whatever and fluff it out and I'm totally doing this wrong. <laughs> but anyway, but I think the pink actually doesn't look too bad, really. Um, and it's weird how the, the velour is what took the pink, or the velour, the chenille is what took the pink the most. And then this is the go for faux kind of yarn. Um, I usually put this around the hood of my, um, holy cow. I am not thinking straight today. My hooded cowls, <clears throat> my scooties. Um, but I thought I'm going to try it in here. And yeah, so I, I don't know. I think it, I think it looks, it looks pretty good. You know, eh, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, it is really thick. Oh, and I'm going to put a pom-pom on here. I just wanted to wait until it was, um, until it was washed. So I got pom-pom here. This is one of the pom-poms with the snaps on it. So I'm going to put that on the bottom and then it'll, it'll look really cute. So, but I, I wanted to try it because I'd never used chenille yarn, um, with this kind of with this pattern before so i thought what the heck i'm gonna try it but yeah so there's that <laughs> i don't know if that was a fail or not but we'll see uh and then i i just came across a uh, channel called nick crow nick crow addict i think uh i'll leave her link down below as well 
And I thought, you know what? I haven't done an actual pullover thinner kind of sweater before. All my sweaters are usually thick and chunky. And the reason why I haven't done a thinner style is because I'm not a process crocheter. I'm, I'm not a fan of the process of doing the project, the sitting and the, the forever crocheting, a single crochet kind of thing. Um, I'm a finished object crocheter. I like to see the end result. If I could skip all the middle and get to the end result, that would be good for me. Um, and I'm starting to find that the, the more my hands, excuse me, the more my hands hurt, the less I'm enjoying crochet. So my finger, if you can see that, my finger is really starting to bend. <clears throat> so this gives me a lot of grief. Um, and because when I hold my project, I always hold the one end with my pinkies. I don't know why. I've always done it. Um, I can't just drop one side of my project and just use my hook and crochet. The, the off balance, it messes my tension up. And I just, so I, I just hold on to it with both hands, use my crochet hook and just, um, go along. So this finger really gets affected. <clears throat> um, but my hands are starting to feel the brunt of, of crochet. I do have my handy dandy little machine to, for my hand massage. Um, I use roll on stuff for my hands. I've used creams. I've used compound creams. I've tried everything. <clears throat> so, and it's really hard for me to just kind of put my project aside and not work on it for a while and do something else. Um, although I am going to be starting my sublimation business. So we'll get to that in a minute. But anyway, so this project is very difficult for me because it's taking longer. Um, and I, I'm not about that. <laughs> but I'm going to, I'm going to keep going. Uh, so anyways, <clears throat> I did this in a, uh, extra large. So, <clears throat> and I've never done a sweater where I've done the ribbing first. So there's the ribbing and it's, it's done with the, uh, double crochet and the bead stitch. So this is the front panel and I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, I've got to do the back panel and the sleeves. Ugh. I, <clears throat> I used to watch knitting. I don't know why I used to watch knitting, um, videos and it was these young girls. I talked about them long time ago. I don't watch them anymore. And I used to watch them knit like this, you know, where you start with the ribbing, you work your way up, you do the back panel, and then you do the sleeves, like exactly like you have to do this with starting the ribbing. And then your, your sleeves are going out like this. And I, I just, it drove me crazy because I was just like, ah, it takes so long. Um, so in here I am doing it. Why? I have no idea. Uh, but I thought, what the heck? So this is dry. <coughs> Bailey. There's obviously a cat out there. Hold that thought. Okay, then. <sighs> Stop. Okay. So this is like maybe half, well, I don't know, maybe halfway. And I'm just, I'm gritting my teeth through it. Um, 
I'm thinking I don't want to do the bead stitch on the back piece. I may end up just doing the whole back piece and double crochet. But the last time I tried doing something like that, the back piece and the front piece did not match. And so I'm going, Ugh. Um, I think my saving grace is going to be the fact that the front actually goes down a little bit. <clears throat> so I might be able to fudge it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I'm going to keep going and see how it goes. I don't know. I've gone too far now. I can't stop. So, <clears throat> um, so there's that. Oh, and I'm using... <laughs> I don't have it here. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I really had to stretch for that. Okay, I'm using Big Twist Value. <clears throat> I was gifted this. Um, and this color is... No. Purple Ombre. Now, I... <coughs> Bailey! <laughs> Stop! Good grief. <laughs> Um, now I, I have to say that I am really enjoying this big twist value, um, almost as much as I am liking as uh, almost as much as I, I like the, I love this yarn ombre and print. Um, it's very comparable. <sighs> I just wish I could get it on a regular basis. <laughs> So, uh, I'm using this and I'm using the Enough Bailey. Stop. Um, I'm also using the um, Loops and Threads from Michaels for the black. So, yeah. So, I think they're, gonna, they're working out pretty good. And uh, we'll see how that goes. All right. So, now I've got to eat my yogurt and <coughs> excuse me and get ready for work oh I'm, i am ready but i gotta leave for work <laughs> so okay uh if there's anything else i need i can remember i need to talk to you guys about i will talk to you in a bit okay a few minutes later okay so surprise twist i'm not working today um I just got a message from my daughter, Tia, saying that she's um, having some problems um, and I need needed to get on the ferry right away. She didn't say that. I said that. So I grabbed a bag, threw a bunch of stuff in. I don't even know what I threw in there. And uh, I'm waiting at the ferry terminal to catch the ferry. Um, I don't know what's going on. Her vision's all messed up. She woke up and her eyes were crossed and she can't focus on anything. So I want her to go to the hospital. She's fighting me on that. So um, it's going to take two and a half hours for me to get to the uh, mainland on the ferry. I gotta try and figure out where her new place is. She moved. Um, so if I can take care of Axel while they go to the hospital, then that's good. But I don't think she should be waiting. Can't tell our kids anything, can we? So anyway, the ferry is going to be here shortly. So I'll keep you guys posted on what's happening. Yarn bees. So uh, everything seems to be somewhat okay with Tia. 
think we're going to take her to the chiropractor and uh, see if that's going to help. Oh, who's this? <gasps> Who is that? Hey, Axel. <coughs> Say hi. Say hi. <coughs> who's that? So, um, Tia and James didn't get any sleep last night, so they're upstairs sleeping, and Axel and I are having fun. Aren't we? Right? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Look at all his teeth. He's got all these teeth now. Hey, oh, where are you going? <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, whoa. <laughs> He's trying to. Oh. There we go. And he's standing. Oops, I'm showing my cleavage. That's not good. So he's standing up, sort of, on his own. He's trying real hard. And, uh, oops, hang on. Oh. So he's standing. He pulls himself up. And he's got a little walker thing there. The thing that he's doing right that he's doing now is grinding his teeth, which is driving me nuts. But. Other than that, <laughs> he's a, uh, yeah, he's, he got a bonk on his head from a little bit of a fall, but he's okay. So he, uh, he's a good boy. <coughs> I haven't had any problems with him. So he's a, uh, he's a good boy. Yes, he is. Yes, you are. <laughs> He's always smiling. I love it. Now, yeah. right? Right. See? Right? Yeah. I'm always smiling. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, uh, it depends on how Tia is doing. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going home. But <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right? Right. Okay. Talk to you later. No jump, no jumping. Is that good? You got a hair in your Is that good? Ooh, somebody likes cheese. <laughs> you liking cheese? No jumping. No jumping while you're eating. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> hey, you're in a beast. Oh, how are you? So, I'm still at Tia's. I'm doing the grandma housekeeper kind of thing. And I'm babysitting today. I'm babysitting, are I? <laughs> Yes, I am. <laughs> um, Tia is going to go for an MRI today. Um, her other half, James, is taking her. I was supposed to take her, but we decided that because he didn't have to work last night, he was going to take her. So, <clears throat> <laughs> he's having a great old time. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, if all goes well with the MRI today, then I'll be going home tomorrow. So, <clears throat> yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm just cooking and doing housework and taking care of babes. Yeah, I am. <laughs> He's been such a joy. He's, uh, got a lot of energy. <laughs> I forgot how much energy it takes to take care of a little one. It's like holy man, I'm I'm tired, <laughs> and uh, I'm trying not to take painkillers because you know taking care of baby. I didn't want God. I'm a brat's nest here. Um, I, I don't want to take painkillers while I'm taking care of him. Right, right. Go say hi. Say hi. Boom 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 boom. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you being shy? 
<laughs> ah, one of the loves of my life. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you guys know how it all goes. <clears throat> and, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, it was, it's, it, it's a weird thing. Like, Tia woke up and her eyes were, like, double vision. Like, she, it was like her eyes were crossing and she couldn't look up or down without her eyes crossing. It was the weirdest thing. But we found out it's not her neck. It's not anything serious like stroke or blood clot or anything like that. They got test she got tested for that. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Uh so work. <laughs> Every time he laughs, it just <laughs> it makes me laugh. Um yeah, so we're gonna try and find out today what's going on. So um but yeah, so anyways. Okay. Really? <laughs> Hi, Aaron and Bees. Okay, this video is going to be shoddy at best. I'm sorry about that. It's, I don't even know, 7 o'clock in the morning. I just got up. <clears throat> I'm back home. Um, I've been, actually, I've been home for a few days. Um, it's just, I haven't been able to finish this video for my life. It's... I'm busy, 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 and I'm worried, and I'm that my brain isn't working properly, and blah blah blah. <clears throat> so first things first, Tia is okay. Um, she went for an MRI on Sunday, and she's got an appointment with a neurologist on Friday. So it's one of those hurry up and wait things again. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, I've just been working and trying to get stuff done and trying to keep my mind off of things. Uh, <clears throat> she's not able to drive, or at least she doesn't want to drive, um, just in case. And she's afraid to go to sleep because she's afraid that she's going to wake up and that the same thing's going to happen. <clears throat> what they do know is that it's a nerve. Um when she lays on her left side her vision starts going all funny again so yeah there's a nerve somewhere that's not working or something i don't know something's going on um so <clears throat> until we talk until she talks to the neurologist we're not going to know what's happening so that's stressing <clears throat> um we're going to be leaving soon to go to back there to um my grandson's birthday his birthday is on the 17th that should be fun because uh tia got tickets for the christmas train in stanley park which is a really big thing for people in vancouver i've never actually been on it before <clears throat> but it's a train that goes around stanley park and shows you all the christmas lights and stuff like that so um although i've lived here my whole life uh, I've never been on that train <laughs> not that I can remember anyway so I guess it was just never a priority for me I guess <laughs> I don't know it's really hard to get tickets for that thing um it's easier for you to get tickets to a Taylor Swift concert apparently than to get tickets for this train <laughs> so, uh so yeah so we're gonna be going on the 16th down out there <clears throat> celebrating his birthday on the 17th and then coming back on the 18th so yeah um what else i've the minute that i got home and went to the shop i started getting orders for things so i've been <clears throat> crocheting my little heart out my hands are killing me um but yeah i'm kind of concerned about that I've been putting cream on, I've been using my massager thing, I've been, you know, but I got, a, I just can't even believe it. I got an order for four hats, which, and they're not here. Where are they? Hang on. Oh, I put them in my bag <clears throat> so that I could take them with me. Hang on. Ah. So I got an order for three hats like this and one one white one 
so I got that done, but I could not believe how long it took me to do them. I was actually shocked. Um, I started them yesterday morning at about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I didn't finish them until 11 o'clock last night. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what is wrong with me? Um, I can usually get a hat done in no time at all. It's all bobble stitch, yes. <clears throat> but it should not have taken me that long. Um, it just, it, my hands hurt so much that I, it slowed me right down. And yeah, like, I mean, okay, granted, I made dinner and I ate dinner. and <clears throat> But it should never have taken me that long. Um, so yeah, I just, that, I can't even hold a coffee cup. It hurts too much. Um, yeah, so I completely wasted all day. You know, I, I had so many things I wanted to do. I have a key little scarf I have to make for a customer. <clears throat> um, and yeah, I've just... It, that really shocked me. I just felt like I completely wasted the day. <sighs> I didn't even get my dishes done. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm I'm starting to feel stressed again, like really stressed. Um, when I'm at sleep, when I do sleep, I I'm just dreaming about the new shop. I'm just, I'm always there. I'm always trying to figure things out. I'm, I'm, I'm dreaming about the sublimation stuff. Oh, I got all my sublimation stuff. <clears throat> Not all of it, but like my sublimation blanks. I haven't got all those yet, but I got my, my printer and I got my uh, heat press and I got my tumbler cup press and I got my baseball cap press. Um, and I got like little things like the butcher paper and the sublimation paper. I'm still waiting on the ink. <clears throat> Excuse me. That should be coming hopefully in the next couple of days. Uh, and it's all sitting in my office. I can't do anything with it until after Christmas. Because I got to empty the office. Uh, and then I can deal with all that. So, and then I can think about getting things ready for the shop. Because that's where my brain is all the time anyway. <clears throat> um, what else? Uh, oh, um, this sweater that I showed you guys that I finished. This is... Whoops. Eh, this is like, you know, this one. Whoops. Ugh, I can't, I can't show you guys properly because it's, you know, camera angles and all that, right? Um, God, I can't wait to get into the new shop so I can have you guys set up properly. Anyways, it's this one. It's got the hood. Um, this, this is Angela from My Precious Yarnery's bulky sweater pattern. Um, seems like she's putting out a lot of tutorials that, I can't get to so <laughs> just I'm I've lost my like I, I've, I gotta catch up on so many videos it's crazy anyways um the thing about this sweater is I forgot to put in the the buttonholes so I gave it to Alice uh who's at the shop at the market to see if she could put a zipper in it but because it's so thick, because I did the front post, back post, it doesn't fit in her sewing machine. So I thought, well, what if I put toggles, toggle clasps on it? So I went and I <clears throat> ordered these from Amazon. And they have another side to them with the button on it. She sewed these on for me. And then we looked at the other side and realized that they made this hoop on the other side the same length as this. So there's going to be a gap in between the sides. Or if you put them back further, then the two sides are going to bunch up. 
they're going to just clash and bunch up to try and get the button on. So I thought, okay, well, what if I take the buttons off and then just sew them on where I want them? That's a great idea, except those buttons, I think, are going to be too small for these loops on their own. So I had these big, long toggles. And I thought, those are going to be perfect because they're shaped like a cone. And I thought, yes, okay, so I'm going to sew those on and everything's going to be great. And then I'm going to have the sweater for the shop. I grabbed this, the buttons and I was trying to make those other hats. So I thought, okay, well, I'll get to the, the buttons after. So I put them aside so I could do it later. And now I can't find them. I remember thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to put them in a safe place. So I can find them, you know, so I don't lose them. I lost them. I can't find them. I have no idea where I put them. Um, I've, I've looked everywhere. I've, you guys, my memory is so shot right now. I don't know why. I don't know what's happening. Like I, I went and I, <laughs> oh, I went and I, when I was at work the other day, I went and I ordered some new bags from Uline for the shop because I was running out of bags. I ordered them at the shop. And then yesterday I was in a panic because I was going, I got to go to the dollar store and I got to buy a whole bunch of shopping bags, you know, for when I go back to work because I don't have any. So I was all stressed out yesterday because I was doing these hats and then I couldn't get to the dollar store. And then there's a knock on the door and these show these bags show up. I don't remember ordering them. I couldn't believe it. I would have gone to the dollar store and spent stupid amounts of money to buy these shopping bags. When I already had ordered some. <sighs> George looks at me and he goes, if you went and ordered some, why were you going to go to the... I don't know, okay? It's like, ugh, really? Like, I, I just... My memory's awful. It's completely shot. So, I don't know if it's stress or what, but I don't like it at all. At all. So, I have no... And I, I can't chalk it all up to getting older. So, I don't know. Maybe my brain, my brain is so stressed that it's just deleting shit. <laughs> I, just, I don't know, but yeah. So, um, God. Uh, that part scares me a little bit. So, so I took yesterday off to try and get this stuff done. <laughs> Epic fail. Uh, and now I got to go back to work today. So I'm, I'm grinding out the days at the market one day at a time. They've now opened seven days a week. I can't be there seven days a week. I can barely be there six days a week. Um, I'm not getting anything done at home. I... You know, I can't think about what I'm going to make for dinner until I'm on my way home. And then by that time, it's too late. Uh, you know, I have a crock pot and stuff. Like, I just forget to use it in the morning because I'm trying to get stuff done. You know, um, and I feel like, I mean, I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth because these commission orders are keeping me going. But at the same time, I'm not making anything for the shop. So it's a kind of a catch-22. Uh, and, yeah. But I can't get anything done at the house. It's just, it is what it is. It would be wonderful if George knew how to cook. Um, I, would, I would even like bacon and eggs. You know, something. Anything. Just to take it off my plate. <laughs> Funny. Um, you know, just to take some of that off, off my mind. But he's working more than I am, you know, and 
it's it's crazy it's crazy I'm really hoping that once I get myself into the new shop things will calm down a little bit I'll be able to get myself settled and I mean who am I kidding I don't know I'm, that's my hope that I'll get myself settled I'll be able to get a routine I'll be happy because right now I'm just biding my time I'm just going through gritted teeth every time I go to the shop I'm not enjoying going to the shop um, yeah I'm, I'm just gritting my teeth so <clears throat> I will have creative freedom once I get to my shop I'll have freedom to be able to do what I want to do at my shop um, <clears throat> One thing I'm going to really enjoy is being able to just put a key in the lock and open the door and put a key in the lock to close the door. And I don't have to worry about those stupid gates. Like, I've got a huge gate system that I have to open and close every day. That's how I fell <clears throat> the first time. Um, and I've never been the same since. So, that's going to be nice. Uh, I'll have my own coffee maker there. I'll have a fridge there, a mini fridge there, so I'll be able to fill it with whatever foods I want to eat um, and not have to eat the crap food that they, like, it's not crap food. They've got really good food, and that's the problem. <sighs> it's all the wrong food. <clears throat> so it's like a scone every morning and you know, french fries in the afternoon kind of thing, like just, ugh. So, <clears throat> I'm trying really, really hard uh, to not eat that stuff. I mean, the scone in the morning, it's okay, but, you know, I just, I want to stay away from that. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm stressed out every month about the rent. But, I mean, <laughs> my rent's going to go up quite a bit in the new place. So, <clears throat> that's going to always be a stress for me. But, I'll have, <clears throat> hopefully, a little more control over it when I'm in the new place. I mean, I'm relying, basically, on people walking through the market. Right? Um, instead of having people that know exactly what they want come into my shop, right? Um, I'm getting exposure, which is great, but um, I'm also now known as the new yarn shop. I'm not known as the gifts and things kind of thing. Um, so <clears throat> that's going to be interesting to try and transition because uh, I'm going to have a whole bunch of new stuff that hopefully um customers like tourists will really like but i'm i'm gonna wait and see how it goes so anyways okay i'm gonna go i will let you guys know what how tia is doing um and just get through this christmas season Ugh. i'm hoping to be able to do another video <coughs> before christmas I hope. Yeah. Uh, so, I hope you guys are having a great Christmas season. I hope you're not as, as stressed out as I am. <laughs> uh, and the funny thing is, is it has my stress has nothing to do with Christmas. So, yay. I haven't done, I haven't put decorations up. I haven't, nothing. I'm just like, no, next year will be different. <clears throat> but this year, no not doing it so um yeah so i hope you guys are doing well uh yeah do all the things i guess like subscribe all the, if you want to you don't have to but if you, if you want to go for it <laughs> i promise you these are not the kind of videos that i normally do this year has just been 
a rough one trying to get my shop up and running and trying to keep it going and you know I had to get rid of my yarn room um so yeah it's it's been rough I promise you when I get my new shop going this will all change um I will have a nice backdrop again uh, I will have my camera set up properly um yeah <laughs> in time so okay I love you all and I hope you guys are doing well and I will talk to you guys soon okay bye